What up, everybody? <clears throat> so today, I'm sitting in a friend's fish house. We're on a local lake. And I'm going to try to target some big perch. She's been doing really good on some big perch in this house. And I was going to set up, <clears throat> you know, in close proximity to him with my otter. But he's like, I'm leaving here in a little bit. I want you to set up and do it. So I'm like, sweet. What we got going on here is there's a point that comes out. Right now we're, we're right on the edge of the point. We're in like 17 feet of water. It goes all the way up to like 12 back here and all the way down to like 24 out there. And these fish are just cruising up, up onto this you know point. And it's literally, you can see bottom. I mean, when I look down there, I can see bottom. So and you could sight fish these you want to do. But anyway, I'm going to throw a little bit of everything at them today. Um... Spoons of wax rims, tip with a minnow. Um, he's had a dead stick with a minnow. has been doing really good. So I'm going to throw down a dead stick with a plain hook on it. And, uh, and a fathead, crop minnow, whatever. And try that. Anyway, it's hard to find big perch right directly around where, where we are in Minnesota here. Um, you know, like a 10 inch is a pretty good size perch for right around here. You know, good eater anyway. Anyway, going to watch these lines catch some fish there's a fish come on now Oh no, that was a big one, you guys. Son of a Biwa Hiver. He come up and whacked it too. That was a big one. Might have a perch here, guys. Oh yeah, there it is. That's a nice perch. Real nice. Oh, you guys, look at this tanker. Oh, cute. If I can get her on my producer to get to it. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, that is one of the fish that I've been waiting to catch here. Oh, such good eating fish too. That's got to be a I don't know, 11 incher. And a half. Such a good eating fish too. Eleven and a half incher. Sweet. And yes, I'm keeping fish to eat. Oh, come back. There we go. What we got here. Under perch, hopefully. Oh, it's a big bluegill. <laughs> it's a big bluegill, you guys. Wow, he smashed that thing. Like, big time even. There we go. It's <laughs> a nice bluegill. Hey, right, bud. I thinking big perch and bluegills are coming in. Bobber, you guys. Got him. Well, there's a nice perch. Oh, yeah. There's a nice one. He engulfed that fathead, too. I, I was just going to get my minnow down. All of a sudden, I seen this bobber going. 
There we go. But that's probably a 10 inch fish. More. Not as big as the last one, but about 10 inches. Sweet. Fish on over here, boys. Fish on over here. There we go. There we go. Another nice one. Here, guys. Where's my? Oh, where's the rub dog? Forceps there. Here we go. It's another ten incher. Ten and a quarter. Bucket right there, guys. Oh, and I missed him, you guys. How did I miss him? God darn it, he come right up and smoked this thing. Oh, Lord. Sometimes I tell you. Come right up and whack this tiny minnow on this jig. I totally whiffed on him. I'm going to put it back down. Maybe I can get him again. He hasn't left. Come on. Here I come. Back down. Yeah. It's coming again. I got him this time. <laughs> I don't know how big he is, but I got him. Oh my, are you kidding me? It was a bluegill? Bluegill ate this minnow. <laughs> well, I don't want to tell you. Still fish down there. Probably another bluegill. I don't know. Bobber's gone. What do we got here, boys? Oh, yeah, there's a perch. There's another nice perch. <laughs> I literally walked out to the truck for a second just to grab my other bag. And boom. Another perch. Nice one too. I'll keep that middle bud. You won't be needing it. You can go in there. I'll get this dead stick back down there. And then I'm going to put another dead stick down because... My flasher actually just died. <clears throat> so right now we're in 17 feet of water. We're actually just on, if you were to look at the lake, we're on a point. And this point drops off. Um, there's a first break and there's like actually like a nice flat area. And then there's a second break after that. Next time I come out, I might try right on the top of that. Keep an eye on this bobber while I change this other rod out. I wasn't expecting that. There goes my bobber. I'm very happy to see that. Got it. This feels like a better one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is a better one. A big old bluegill that chowed my minnow down. He's going to get eaten because... I'm getting short on fish over here. Can't believe he ate my, he ate my fathead. Huh? Well, he's going in the fishy bucket for supper. Well, I'll tell you what. That was a slow, um, but it was fun, man. You guys. <laughs> 
I'm only using like four pound tests for these perch. I'm about to leave, both of my bobbers go down. Set the hook, both of them big fish broke my line. I actually thought maybe it was the same fish, um, but I got this one, I don't know, I fought it for a little bit, line broke, this one, it was, it was ugly. Anyway, got some nice bluegill, probably a nine incher, and then here's an 11, 11 and a half inch perch. Yeah. Oh, it's big. But then we got, we got, I think I got kept, or kept four perch. Anyway, that was 11 and a half inches, the biggest one. 10 and a half, you know, 10 or other ones. So I got four perch in here and a sunfish. Um, that might be enough for me to eat tonight. But I'll definitely be back out here chasing some fish. But I definitely got to thank my buddy Jeremy for letting me use his house today. It made it so much more, you know, nicer. I or so much nicer. I don't have to set all my stuff up and drag it back, you know, and this and that. So thank you so much, Jeremy. Anyway. Um, if you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe. I'll be back out after these bad boys again. So yeah, peace.